Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from Moffat Camping and Caravanning Club site in Moffat. Let's go and take a look. <laughs> We pick up the journey entering Scotland here and then head up the M74. We then take the A701 and head in the direction of Moffat. We're just coming into the centre of Moffat now. We take a right hand turn to head down towards the campsite and then just head over the bridge here and then we're into the site. Once you've checked in at reception, you're then guided to your pitch. We were here for a small Eldis and Compass CV owners meeting. If you have an Eldis or Compass CV 20, 40, 60 or 80, it's a fantastic group on Facebook to learn lots about the vans. I'll pop a link in the description below to the group. Well worth joining. We'll take a look around the site now. Just near the entrance to the site, there's a dog walk, which is really handy if you want to let your dog off the lead in an enclosed area. Roxy really loved it. The majority of the pitches on the site were hard standing with electric hookups. There were various places where you could top up with fresh water and also dispose of grey water. There was a chemical emptying point in the main facilities block which just take a walk around now and also showers and toilets. There's a security barrier on the way in and the way out of the site. There's also a handy reception area which has lots of information available on things to do in the area. They've centralised the waste and recycling area in this bin compound. It's a really nice site and it felt quite well laid out. The weather wasn't so kind when we were there however, especially on the Saturday afternoon. There was a great washing up area which was under cover so handy if it started to rain. We then decided to head out the back of the site and take a wander to the Green Frog Cafe. If you head out the gate, there's a little track then that takes you along there. It's only a couple of minutes walk. We thought we'd treat ourselves to some breakfast and you're given a little tag which was handy and it beeped when your order was ready. There you go, how about that? There was some fishing lakes here. You could also stop over here as you probably noticed on the tariff board previously. Just looking across now back to the camping and caravanning club site. There's also another dog walking area at the back of the site that you can see to the right there. So just back now at the front of the site and just heading off the site. Just on the left hand side over the bridge here there's wood fired pizzas which are absolutely delicious but they only operate on some evenings. But tasty and we thought very good value as well. There's a little stream which runs under a bridge just on the way into the site. If you pull out of the site and you turn left 
on foot this is. Um, you actually come to Moffat Mill, which you can just see in the background there. This was on the morning, it did get busier later. There's plenty of parking there if you want to drive round, or if you're not staying, just to call in. There's also a cafe at the mill as well, which did food and drinks, and some interesting exhibits as part of the mill as well, which you can see here about some of the history. Just head back out now, and then wander down the track to the side. So we're just continuing to wander down this lane. The co-op's just a very short walk from the site as well. You can either go along the road or you can just come down that lane. We now head into Moffat Town Centre. There's a good selection of shops and bars and restaurants in the centre of Moffat, so plenty of choice. And we're now in Station Park. Take a quick look around in the background there. There's also a really nice park in the centre of Moffat too. And a nice sporting lake. There's some further walks just over the road from the park. There's a car park here if you're just stopping for a little while. Pop back over to the park now. There's a boating lake in the park with pedlos that you can rent. Uh, there's also a children's play areas you would expect. You just see the boats again in the background. And there's a nice little stream that just runs alongside here. Just catch it in the background there. You can see some of the railway relics in the park as you walk around, uh, showing its heritage. Just leave Station Park now and head back into Moffat Centre. Here's the main way in now to the co-op and Moffat Mill. Around there see the way down there this background 
you probably just better make out there's the church in the background. This is Moffat High Street. You can see the memorial there. It goes up and down on each side. The road's closed today on uh, the side there due to the uh, motor racing which is coming into town at 12 o'clock and then later at 4 o'clock for the award presentations. You can visit the old churchyard which is just off the high street and there's some information on the way in and some of the interesting things to see in there. I'll pop the information up from the notice boards on the way in. Just pause the video if you want to read it in more detail. You can head back to the campsite down this way. And the rally was now in town. This was around lunchtime. After the motor racing we then headed back to the campsite and that ended a nice weekend at the CV meet at Moffat Camping and Caravanning Club site in Scotland. Thank you for watching, catch you next time.